Yo. <laughs> what? What's your name, kid? My name is Richie Clementi. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. What's your birthday, bud? November the 1st. So, hey, look, I have a few questions uh, for you. Is that okay if we answer these? Yes. <laughs> Why are you acting so dorky? I don't know. Because <laughs> there's a mosquito on my leg. <laughs> Swat <I'm> that puppy. <laughs> <sighs> nice. Okay, Sunday night, right? Yes, sir. Just got done doing what? Fishing. Fishing. Catch anything? Um, I didn't, but you did. Oh, big dog did, huh? I had a couple bites, but... Nice. So, hey, look, I got a few questions, right? You up for answering them? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Tell me a little bit about your family. Um, we're a good family. We like to support each other. When one of us needs something, we help try to help them do it. And uh, we're very, like, active family, and we like to do a lot of stuff together. Nice. Good answer. I don't guess you'd say anything bad with me sitting right here, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, um, so next thing, what is your favorite thing to do? I know mosquitoes are vicious out tonight, huh? Yes. What's your favorite thing to do and why? Um, My favorite thing to do when I'm, like, just bored... I like to fish because I like to see like all the different like patterns and see the different type of shapes and sizes of the different fishes. Okay, cool, cool. Um, your next question that I have for you, what, what about sports, what do you play? I do football and wrestling. I've been wrestling for five and a half years and playing football for five years. Are you any good? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good, yeah. <laughs> At what, both? What? Um, I'm all right at football. I'm a QB, and I'm a cornerback. And in wrestling, I've won multiple state championships and placed in a whole bunch of national tournaments. Nice. You got any goals with that, or what? Um, my goal is to win first in Iowa, Iowa Nationals. Nice. No kid from Louisiana has ever done that, huh? Nope. That's the goal, right? Yep. What about football? Um, my goal is to score a touchdown. <laughs> you haven't done that yet. I've never done that. Never? Nope, never. I thought as I thought as a little kid you did that. I, I got a whole bunch of two point conversions, but ne never a touchdown. Never a touchdown. I gotcha. Um, so getting into some more personal questions, okay? Uh, what do you think makes a good person, someone that could be a good person? become a bad person or be viewed as a bad person maybe like bullying like someone who not who's not as unfortunate as them and they like pick on them and like tease them or something like that okay next question for you tell me uh, um, a time that you felt really happy okay when you felt really happy what happened and who are you with, and what was so special about it? In Atlanta, Georgia, at a wrestling tournament over the summer. It was Atlanta Regionals. It was like teams from Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, like all the different, I think it was Southeast maybe. Uh -huh. Southeast Nationals. And I was the only kid in the whole Louisiana that got Triple Crown. And Triple Crown is first place in folk style, freestyle, and Greco both. All three. Yeah, as a dad, that was probably one of my more happier moments. And I was too. with a lot of kids from my, fo I mean, my wrestling team. Nice. Okay. Same, same, type of, uh, uh, same type of question, but what was a time that you felt scared? Please describe it. And how did you handle it? I have a feeling I know the answer to this one. <laughs> so it was in New Orleans. And and it was at House of Shock two years ago. House of Shock? What parents would bring you over there? Um, psychopaths. <laughs> and um, we were waiting in the line. And the entrance was right here. 
and I was literally right here. And there was this weird dude that grabbed me, cut himself, and then drew like a cross, backwards cross on my head. I was like, oh dear Lord. I was so scared. So how did you handle it? What what that happen? Uh, did you did you get out of line? What? I just ran to you. You were like five feet away from me. I pushed him away, and then I was like, Phew. and and then what happened? And then I went in the house to shop. <laughs> right after that. <laughs> So I think that's something that you'll probably remember for the rest Ever. forever. Yes. Oh, look at us creating family moments. No. <laughs> that's funny. So that out of everything, that was your scariest moment. Um, I had another one right up there. Oh, really? Yes. Well, tell us about. It. I didn't know that. It was in our backyard, and we were in two different kayaks. Me and my friend. I was in a blue one. He was in a yellow one. And I was at least 30 yards away from him, and I was fixing my line to go cast because um, I had to use a new bait. And out of nowhere, I heard him. So I looked on the side of me, and there was this big, like, nine foot gator. So I, like, dropped my pole slowly, and I grabbed my paddle, and I slowly paddled backwards, and all I heard was, and I looked on the side of me, and I didn't see him. It was a so I like I screamed, Leland, go home, and I was like, I was battling so fast. <laughs> okay. They're trying to attack me. What does the statement "You can't always get mean" to you? What does that mean? You can't always get what you want. I think it means for like you have to earn and achieve what you want it just doesn't come like it just doesn't come you gotta like set goals and like earn that to get it do you think there's anything you can't get uh no what do you mean most people would say yes to something no because i think you could achieve and and strive for anything it's all in here if you have the goal in here you could probably get anywhere I, I agree to that at least I know that you remembered something that I taught I taught you why did you teach me that <laughs> I've been teaching you that your whole life you just don't even know it um, I heard a frog okay so if you were teasing your little brother what would you do to him? And what's his name, by the way? Cash Clemente. Uh, what do you think about him, first of all? He's funny. He's funny? Yes. <laughs> like, well, you're pretty funny, too. And sort of a psychopath. <laughs> so what would you do if you were teasing your little brother? If I was teasing him? Huh. I would probably either, like, say... Oh, you know how my friends are coming over later? You're going to just stay inside, and we're just going to play on the trampoline, have stuff like that, and he'll start pounding so much. Like, and he'll go scream to Mom, 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 Richie's not going to let me play with him. And then she'll always let, like, force him to play with us. That doesn't really sound like teasing, though. No, but but what would be t if, if that if that's your if that's your answer? I guess we'll stick to it. Okay. So the last question that I have, and it's kind of an ironic one. Uh, um, it's kind of an ironic one, and, and I did not set this up. And I even I even was I had to ask them. I said, "Did I tell you what happened?" But she, she had wrote a question that said. What would happen if you dented your father's car, and how would it happen? So this is actually a true story, and it didn't happen too long ago. How long ago? It happened like twice, actually. Th tw twice. How long ago? Three weeks, four weeks. And, and what kind of car is it, by the way? It was a Cadillac and his big excursion. And so, I remember... I was carrying my helmet with my pads on the side of it, and I remember my brother came 
this is the cat. Oh, one. you're blaming it on your brother now? No, the the one on your truck was me, but the one it, the, the on the one on your Cadillac that was because of him. I had my football stuff. He pushed me in my back, and my pat my helmet hit the car. On an enemy like a dent like this. Oh, man. so I guess you came and told me right away, huh? Nah, it was like a week after. Uh, really? Yes. Hmm. And then on your truck, I remember that one. I was like swinging it around, and I didn't notice your truck was that close, and it dented it. I didn't know about that one. You didn't? No, not till now. Oh, it's over there. It's on the passenger side. We're going to have to talk about this after the video. It's on the passenger side. We're going to have to talk about this after the video. You know no. that, right? No. Yep. No. <laughs> yep. No. Hey, let me ask you something. Yes. If you had to describe yourself, okay? Yes. If you had to describe yourself as a kid, what would you say if you had to say a few things that made you special than any other kid on the planet, what would you say about yourself I'm outgoing I'm funny um funny looking <laughs> can't say anything every time I look at you you hurt my eyes <clears throat> um hmm funny outgoing maybe humble I guess no Humble? You're pretty humble, to be honest. I would I would go with that. I think that's a good answer. Is that it? Yes. Three well, words. I, I think you're pretty caring as well, too. Yeah. More so than most. I think that's one of the things that really sets you apart. But uh, um, anyway, I appreciate your time. I hope you have a good day at school tomorrow. Okay, it is... I have two tests. It is a little later. Where do you go to school, by the way? Holy Cross in New Orleans. What do you think about school? It's fun and hard. Okay. It's like three classes that are hard. All the other ones are easy. Everything great is hard, though, right? Yes. No doubt. And one of those are religion. <laughs> do you struggle in that one? Yes, I struggle in that one. <laughs> awesome. Well, again, have a good night, and I thank you for your time. All right.